Okay, so I'm going to talk about some of the other interesting features you can be using when you're doing your project. So this is the book we've been working on. Um, there are some other things that you can be adding. So if you wanted to draw your own image, um, let's say you have a stylus or you're just really good at drawing on a mouse pad, I am not, um, you would want to go into the line option. It can allow you to draw straight lines, arrows, connectors, curvy lines. It can also allow you to draw scribbles. So if you click the scribble, uh, you can draw whatever you want and it'll round it out and make it look semi-normal for you. Um, I'm not going to keep that because again, not the best drawing person in the universe. When you want to go back to not drawing anymore, just go ahead and click on your cursor there. Some other options that you have, you can change the background color of these books. So the fill color is what you want for that. And let's say I'm like, oh, maybe I want this book to be light blue. Well, I can change the background color to ensure that the book is light blue. Um, maybe I want the background color of the book to be a deep, dark brown. That's what I can change it to. Um, I kind of liked the gray that I had before, so I'm going to keep it with gray. Um, all of these things are all about your borders. That's what goes around an image. Um, you can change your borders. They can be super thick. Um, 16 point border would look like that. That looks a little crazy right now, but you know, it's fine. Um, but you can also change the dashing on the border. So it doesn't have to be just a solid line. It could be dots, dashes, dashes and dots, all different things. Um, we talked a little bit about font and the, again, this, these are your font options. If you wanted to manipulate your font to look bold, um, or to be slanty font, which is italicized, or if you want to underline something, you can do that all right here. All of these things are about alignment. And then you have a more tab, which again, gives you more things to play with, but you don't really want to get into all of those. That's kind of extreme. Um, and not something that's going to help you with your book. The other thing I wanted to show you about was word art. So you can add word art um, instead of adding text. So you go to actions, word art, and you just type the thing you want to say. So let's say I want to write Americana because that's the title of this book. Um, you type it in and then you get this. It's huge. Um, so you're going to need to shrink it down to something else. Um, but now you can't see that. So you're going to have to play around with what you've got in order to make it something that you can read. Fill for this is a little bit different. So you can go to gradient fill and it allows you to create, um, an image that looks like it's glowing or looks like it's got lighter in the center and darker on the outside. Um, and if you really like it and you want to put it in one of your books, you could just rotate it like anything else that we did and drag it over and there you go. It's in your book. Um, and you can play around with gradient a lot, but that's one option. The other thing that you might want to learn to do is creating a transparent image. So let's say you have an image of something, but it's got a lot of background color and the background color doesn't match what you want your book background color to be. So you're, so let's say you want an image of a flower. Type the word transparent after the image that you want. Okay. And it's going to give you images that look like this. Well, I think that this flower looks great. So you're going to select that. When you have a transparent image, it should pop up on your screen with no background color. So I can move this flower and it shows a background wherever it is. The flower is not in a big white box. That means you can't use it. Okay. And if you shrink this down, Maybe I want to put that in this book instead. Okay, 